Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I actually start assembling the dodecahedron frame. Barb Makes Things! After all of that cutting and recutting and jig making, it's finally time. I took care of any edge piece roughness on the belt sander. I glue five of the edge pieces together inside that pentagon jig, which is, of course, wrapped in foil so that it won't get stuck to the actual frame. This is a very odd build, and it requires a lot of unusual creative clamping. It's an interesting challenge. It's an extended interesting challenge. One of the challenges of this build is the small, unusually shaped pieces that I made from those solid dodecahedrons. After creating them with the jig I built last week, I clamped them up and cut them on the bandsaw, aligning the edges into the clamp's grooves to ensure a good hold. After this, I sanded the rougher portions of them on the belt sander. Belt sander, you need to be gentle with what kind of pressure that you put on it, because if the piece slips out of the way and you're pushing hard, it's gonna sand like your fingertip. This looks worse than it is. I use my hands a lot, so I tend to cover up any band-aids with a lot of waterproof tape to uh, keep them from getting all dirty and falling off. It's not a bad injury, just very inconveniently placed. But then, I did it again. <sighs> this one's not as bad, but still, be careful with the belt sander. I let it dry and switch to another side. Each of these edge pieces doubles as one of the edges of the adjacent side, so gluing up the second side, I only needed to add four. Again, with the wild clamping. Once I had the vertices attached, I started gluing in the little dodecahedron chunks for added support. This is very much a clamp and weight situation. The angles have to be so precise on something like this. I got just over half of it put together this week. I plan to assemble the other parts separately and make them detachable for ease of installation and transport. After that, I'll be making more percussion elements and mounting them to the frame. What did you knock over? Gosh, cats. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.